The WellCheck features a really simple to use user interface. Once this book powers up, you come into the screen if you set up favorites. You can go back to the previous setting used, or you can use up to five previously selected favorites, uh, which there's a way of doing that in the menu structure. Uh, this means you can easily go back to not only what your last settings were, but also to some standard set of settings. That means the operator can always get back to a known setting state before they do the calibration. Once you get to that part, so let's just select weld. Yeah, go back to there. Winter now pops into the main menu display, which by pressing the menu button, you can then clear down. Uh, what we now see is a full VGA display. It is in color. Uh, place the probe on the surface for balance. And now, signal response. In the top right hand corner, there is an optional pane showing a time-based display, and this can be set up to 20 seconds long and do several rotations. But it means the operator has a handy way of identifying if a defects uh, happen, let's, let's say, uh, when their attention lapses. So you get an indication on the screen about that. You may have already noticed that down the left-hand side there are a series of icons. These are user programmable. Here we see a probe icon that allows you to set frequency and phase. DB for gain, a spot position offset, uh, persistence icon, but there are many other settings. In fact, all the settings that are on the main menu may be set individually on in, into the soft menu, and these are then saved in the settings set.